S-C-I-T-E. This is an AI tool that helps you find citations for your, to support your research statements. They are being used quite widely, it seems. And here we have it, an example. So you have a research paper. You know these statements that we make and we need a citation? They help find us the right citations for these statements. How lovely is this? Search. You can create a dashboard. Journals and institution metrics. And you can visualize your research. We'll dive into them a bit more just now. Won a few awards, lovely. Great. So now they have a free Chrome extension, but to use this tool to its full potential, you need uh, to pay. So here's the monthly plan or the yearly plan. It's not exorbitant, but it's not free either. Let's first look at the site Chrome extension. Go to the Chrome Web Store and add the site extension to your Chrome browser. Now what I've done is I downloaded it and then I pinned it so that it's easy accessible. And here is the little icon. Now, every time you go to a specific studies website, you'll see that there's a site badge here on the side. And when you click on this, it's going to take you to the site report. And this is what the report looks like for this specific study. And here you'll find more references, all of them listed. Look at this, it said it's cited by 408 publications. It references 11 publications. And you can easily see how you can find more research on a specific topic related to that specific study that you are now looking to, to work on or that you found. And it highlights specific statements here. So it's really easy to delve into. How does sport affect mental health? Now, this will be a perfect study for one of the studies that we are doing. Um, supporting confidence, 61%. So it even gives you a, their own rating. That is brilliant. So yeah, you can definitely find a lot more research. You can even state if you want to only find the latest research. There is self cite or independent citations. Oh, lovely. Only 408 independent citations. So try this. Now, what I've used here is only the free Chrome extension. So this is the part of site that is free for everyone to use. So this is definitely a very nifty little tool to find research related to what you are looking for. I've subscribed to the seven day free trial and logged into my account. And this is what it looks like on the inside. So here you can see, gives you a whole bunch of information. It looks quite intuitive. Uh, try site assistant. A GPT chat GPT for research with answers from scientific literature. It sounds like something useful to try. Get a tour. So it's all kinds of things that you can still do inside site. Let's see what happens if we click here. Ask a simple question and get reliable answers from full text, from the full text of millions of research articles. How lovely. Uh, start a draft of an essay, grant, or paragraph. It really sounds like ChatGPT. Effectively use information from research articles to support your research tasks. Let's see if we ask a simple question. What is the relationship between physical activity and anxiety? And the interface looks a bit like ChatGPT. But let's see if it gives us accurate information. We won't be able to judge the accuracy just on face value. We will always have to go back and read the papers ourselves. 
make sure that we make a proper human, uh, use our human expertise to judge the papers and um, make the judgment from there onwards. Now let's see what it came up with. Unlike ChatGPT, it gave us a little paragraph, but it also gave us references. Now, if you ask ChatGPT to add references, it will add references, but it's not accurate references that gets added. So here, references are added, but I'll definitely check them. And I'm sure, seeing that this is the main function of site, I do suspect that the references will be quite accurate. But again, that human eye is definitely much needed. So let's look at one of them. So here we have reference one, and it refers to this one. The statement is there is evidence to suggest that there is a relationship between physical activity and anxiety. And here we have an article, physical activity, exercise, depression, and anxiety disorders. I will download this article and read the full article and make sure that the contents fit what you want to say in your research paper. But it is definitely an easy way to find articles to support your research statements. Exercise for the treatment of depression and anxiety. Brilliant. Also a relevant um, type of article. And here it gave us a full paragraph. And it really sounds fine. Physical activity is associated with symptoms of anxiety and depression. Again, a reference is given and it's number two. So this can really do the trick. I won't, definitely won't copy this paragraph and use it as is. Um, remember, this it can be seen as plagiarism because you're using the work of something else. It's not your own words. It's not your own work. So don't copy and paste as is. But to find the relevant references, this tool is definitely doing its job very well here. Let's go back to our main page and see what else it can do. Reference checks. My reference checks. Upload a manuscript, grant, preprint or published paper to check the reliability of its references. The generated report lets you see if the references have be, um, been retracted or highly contrasted by other studies or generally well supported. This is also super useful. Let's check out an example. Reference check, upload successful. 44 references detected. Five re references with editorial concern, retraction. Retracted. So that's very important that we go through all these and see what has been referenced. And we can see, you know, a little summary here, the number of supporting citation statements about this work. Very good. Of each of the references used in the document uploaded. So this really seems like a very useful tool with insight to the reference check up and function. Let's go back to the welcome page and see what else sites can do for us. Use our unique citation statement search to find expert insights from research papers. Search by title, author and keywords or DOI. Let's use our example of exercise and anxiety. And it seems like it is giving us a whole bunch of articles that refers to exercise and anxiety in their papers. And again, we have here some citations that we can use and we can find the full text from there. And they also state in which article this was found. Reducing anxiety sensitivity with exercise. This is lovely. So another little tool, perfect for you to find references for your literature review or your introduction or discussion, where you are looking for supporting statements or citations to your supporting statements. This is the perfect tool for that. If you found this video helpful, smash the like button. 
For more useful tips to boost your research experience, subscribe to my channel by clicking the subscribe button below this video. And while you're at it, hit the bell so that you get notified whenever I produce a new video. If you need a solution to a challenge not yet covered on my channel, leave a comment in the box below. See you in the next video.